everybody, what's up? Tylea Flores here with another video, and before we get into this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you're brand new. Welcome to my channel. My name's Tylea Flores, and on this channel, I talk about anything and everything related to cerebral palsy awareness. Now, in my last video, I spoke about dating with a disability and how to overcome that obstacle. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit more serious and something that's been on my mind for ever now since i've been busy with connecting with people and getting more involved in advocacy and sharing my story with the world that's exactly what i want to talk to you guys today about because ultimately i get a lot of questions on that like what pushed you to want to share your story with the world tylea what got you to the point where you said okay I'm ready to share my story with the world and this is my situation I have cerebral palsy and I'm not ashamed to say it okay so what got me motivated to do that was back when I was 18 years old I started to use Facebook full-time for advocacy and I decided to share my story on a couple pages on how I became an author through that I found that I could have many great opportunities and connect with so many great people just by sharing my story and how I became a writer and then that's when I got involved in public speaking, advocacy, etc, etc. But the biggest secret that I want to tell everybody is, is that it all starts with you wanting to share your story with the world because let's be honest the world needs your story and you have to be the one to say the way i looked at it when i first decided to share my story was that i did not want a medical diagnosis to tell my story i did not want doctors to tell my story i did not want other people to tell my story i decided it finally clicked with me at 18 to say you know what i have cerebral palsy and i'm freaking proud of the person that i'm going to be and that was just that i mean it wasn't an easy journey in the beginning it wasn't easy i would hide behind the screen using uh, avatars to meet people online and express how i was feeling but they never knew i had cerebral palsy and it's crazy because one day my my friend was like do you want to skype and at the time i was in my wheelchair right i was in my wheelchair and i'm thinking holy crap he's never seen me in my wheelchair he's always seeing me in in the bed you know so i decided to take that leap of faith and i decided to tell him like hey i'm in a wheelchair i have cerebral palsy this is me so what I wound up doing was I wound up pulling up my chair up to the screen. He saw it and he goes, you're in a chair? I go, yeah, I have cerebral palsy. He's like, why didn't you tell the group of us sooner? We always wondered why you were in your bed. So yeah, guys, it took me, it took me time to get to that point where I was just like, let me just be honest on here, where I just said, fuck it. I'm going to be who I am. Because you know what? I did not want other people to tell my story from their point of view. I wanted to come out of my shell and tell it from my point of view. That way I could impact other people that were in my position at the time that were afraid to be themselves because of the way society shaped them and, and taught them to be ashamed of their disability. And for a while, I was ashamed of my disability. For a very long time, especially in my teenage years, y'all, like, I, I just didn't understand why I was put in the position to where I felt trapped in this body, trapped in my own skin, not realizing that ultimately my disability is a gift. It is a tool that God gave me to stand out and inspire others, you know. When it comes to my disability, I always say, God didn't make a mistake when he brought me to this earth to send a message to society. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew exactly 
who I was going to meet, who I was going to interact with. He wrote my story before it was even written. So I have to give thanks to him, for those of you that are religious. I have to give thanks to God because if it wasn't for him giving me the gift of a disability, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I strongly stand by by that. But honestly, the reason the reason why I started advocating is simple. The world needs you, my story and, and for those of you who are looking to advocate, the world needs your story. Mistakes and all, the world still needs it because you could be the next person that impacts the next generation. And now it is time that the younger generation of people with disability and advocates take that take that torch and run with it. Because you know what? We're the next generation of voices. If we don't advocate and if we don't share our stories, then who else will? No one else. Unless you want to be labeled for the rest of your life by a medical diagnosis. As I said in the last podcast I was on with, with uh, Sunshine on Wheels, Sheena Tom- Thomas, I said, if you looked at my medical diagnosis and you looked at me, you couldn't tell that I have those medical diagnosis. So it's up to us to be the educators. It's up to us to want to inspire the world to say, I am more than what the doctors wrote on that paper. I am more than what the doctor said the day I was born. I'm more than what the doctor said I wasn't going to be able to do the day I was diagnosed with CP. Bottom line here is, y'all, when it comes to advocacy and sharing your story, it all starts with you. You have to be the one to wake up and say, you you have to be the one to wake up and say, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go out and make a difference. Or if you don't curse, you know what, I'm going to go out and make a difference today. Even if it's something small as you educate somebody who stares at you because you're in a wheelchair or you use a cane or a walker. That's just the beginning step, and the more you do the more you'll realize the impact you're making on this society. So remember, as I said in my commencement speech yesterday to the class of 2020, um, the world needs your story, so pick up the pen and start writing it today. Don't let other people take control of your pen and that eraser that you have. A matter of fact, don't even use an eraser, okay? When you're writing your story, do not even use an eraser because that's how life is you don't get a second chance to erase your mistakes but you learn from the mistakes you've made in life to help impact others and educate and empower that's why I love doing what I do because I get to educate I get to empower I get to inspire I get to be the person who I always wanted to be without a doubt in my mind so remember guys through many of the sites that i write for as well such as the mighty unwritten i get to inspire i get to educate i get to live my life but yet know that i'm making a difference in this society to say you're not gonna label me by my diagnosis You're going to label me by my different abilities and what I could do instead of my, instead of my disability. Because if you take out the word disability, y'all, I'm sorry I'm going on a rumble here. But if you take out the word disability, cross that out. Cross that out right now. If you take out the word disability, the only word you're going to see is abilities. And that's what we all have as people with different abilities. We don't have disabilities. Yes, we may take a while to adapt to situations and adapt to the world around us, but we still get the job done. Therefore, we have abilities, we have different abilities, we don't have disabilities. Because let me tell you something, the only disability in life that people do have. Let me tell you, when you're 
your different abilities become a disability. When you have a negative attitude about the situation, about the situation you're in, about your circumstances, like I speak to people every day, sometimes, very often, where they say, I don't get where you see the bright side about your disability. I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. And I say, see, that's the problem right then and there. That's the problem. Your mindset and the world around you, you tend to think, oh, because I have a disability or I have a different ability, that means you could just have a petty party all the time and make up excuses to why you can't do something when it really isn't. Like, with my disability and my story, that gives me a push to keep going every day. And that's why I do the things I do for you guys. And I always tell myself, when I feel like giving up, when I feel like quitting, I think of everyone that I've impacted, everyone that I've come across and say, Talia, what are you doing? The world needs your story. So, you're going to get your little ass back up, and you're going to keep going. And you're going to keep going until you you can, until you reach the highest point of the mountain. That's what we got to remember, folks. Okay? Because ultimately, if you quit in the middle of a bad chapter, if you quit just because you had one bad chapter in your life, then how do you keep going with the story? There is no story because you quit. So, remember... Remember, the world needs your story. And don't give up because an obstacle may seem too big. You conquer it to the best of your ability. And when you get to the top of the mountain, you're going to be able to say, Wow, I completed that chapter. And guess what? I survived the war with all the scars and wounds that I have. So with that being said, you guys, this is Talia Flores. Over and out. Love each and every one of you. Bye.